Alright. Here is an archery guide, you Robin Hood role playing bastards. In this video I'm gonna cover everything I know about archery, which is not everything. Because I'm missing some stuff that I don't understand. There are some mechanics that are really hidden and hard to figure out how exactly they work. But I'm gonna try to explain to you in the easiest way possible on what to focus while using bow and arrow. Two main stats for bow and arrow are agility, which I don't really know what it affects, to be honest, regarding archery. It might only affect that requirement that you have on bows to wield them properly. Other than that, I'm not sure what it does. It might be calculated into the damage, but I'm not sure about that because I tried multiple equations on how to get to this damage that is displayed on ranged weapon, but I couldn't do it. Either way, this is the first stat that is important, the second stat is under combat section, and here it is bow. Bow stat affects how proficient you are with bows, that means it's gonna increase power of the attacks, and it's also gonna reduce sway. Until you reach level 5, you're gonna hurt your hand when firing arrows if you're not wearing any type of gloves. So you need to wear anything here and you're gonna be fine. After level 5 you don't have to wear any type of hand protection anymore. Now that we are in the inventory section, I have plenty of bows here that we can check out and plenty of arrow types. General rule of thumb is this, use good bows with good arrow types. How to even determine what's good and what's bad? Well, it's simple, you just check their power rating, damage rating, however you want to call it. If you have a good bow that does around 70-80 damage, simply equip better arrows. I have for example Naesh longbow plus better piercing arrow and you can see my damage. If I switch to shitty bow like villagers ash bow, it's gonna switch to 60 damage. So that's horrible. And it's also gonna be much tougher to hit an opponent. When firing good arrows from bad bows, you're gonna have tougher time hitting anything. Same goes for good bows with bad arrows. So the better bow you use, the better arrow should be. Arrows that have better in front of their names should never be fired from bad bows. You're not gonna do anything with it. If we check out the statistics of a bow, we can check that there's minimal strength and agility requirement to wield a bow. If you do not meet that requirement, you can choose, for example, much better bow than you have, but it's gonna do reduced damage. You can see this setup now that I have, that I do not meet requirements for, is gonna give me 103 damage. If I switch to a worse bow, this one has 77 damage, this one's got 74, the damage will actually increase. Not to mention that you're gonna have more trouble firing from this bow that you do not meet requirements for. Also note that different types of arrows have different trajectories, so the damage is not the only difference. Here is a tip for PC players, if you want to have this dot that will help you during the aiming with bow and arrow, simply press key to the left of number 1 and type in this command right here. Afterwards, simply sheath the bow and draw it out again, and then this cursor will appear. It helps in determining where you're looking at. And it also helps in this video in making this tutorial. Now I'm gonna cover different trajectories of arrows. For example, let's equip piercing arrow, which is already equipped with elm longbow. 
Now check this out. I'm not gonna aim at Hans, although he does deserve it sometimes. You've seen the trajectory of this arrow. If we switch to, for example, better long distance arrow, I'm not gonna move at all, I'm just gonna take aim and fire. Now let's go with hunting arrow. This is something you're gonna have to test for yourself and practice. Now watch what happens when you fire good arrows from bad bows. Now I equipped villager's ash bow and we have better piercing arrow. Horrible, right? If we switch to any kind of other bow that is half decent. No problem. There is a firing sweet spot that you need to know about. Different bow types have different sweet spots. You'll know the sweet spot when the knocking animation is done. If I knock an arrow and the animation stops, we are not knocking arrow anymore, this is the perfect time to release. Depending on the bow, that sweet spot time could be shorter or longer. Now watch this. I'm gonna hold it a bit and it's immediately worse shot. So there is a second that you can have that arrow fully knocked and it will still be a good shot. But if you knock it for just slightly too long, it's gonna be a shit shot. It's not gonna get nowhere where you want it. And if you hold it for far too long, then you're doing essentially this. Next to losing a lot of stamina, you're gonna start shaking like an addict and shoot the worst shot ever seen in any of the Robin Hood movies. Same rule applies if you don't knock it fully. The arrow is just gonna fly down like you're targeting the floor. To recap, get that sweet spot and you'll be fine. As you might have already noticed, there is an important thing to see here. When this far cursor has been shown, you can see that while aiming it sways left and right. So if you time it correctly, you don't even need to move mouse button to left or right. You just gotta be on point with the release. Wait for the target to be at the position you want it to and fire. Obviously that sway will be reduced. What the fuck just happened? That sway will be reduced the better your archery skill is. Another quick tip, if you want to remove knocked arrow, simply press right mouse button when aiming and you will not shoot an arrow. I'm honestly not sure how to help you with aiming. This is the best I can think of. So anyway, how do I figure out where this crochet is when it's not displayed? I simply watch the distance when this crochet is displayed from the bow and from the gloves. 
it's always somewhere at that point. This never changes. The crochet in itself doesn't mean much unless you pay attention to the things that I've told you before. That means trajectory of the arrows, using better bows with better arrows and so on. The biggest thing that determines everything is your bow skill. I would suggest that you visit the Huntsman to teach you at least that one level fast. It's not that expensive. There's always tons of stuff, stuff you can steal and sell. There's no magic formula that would help you better than the practice itself. We're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. I suggest that you get your ass to woods and shoot some prey there. Equip some low visibility and low noise clothing and go hunting. That's the best way to level up bow skill. As you will see in this footage where I'm shooting at the guards, bow and arrow can be devastating when using high damage bows and arrows. Simply they can one shot an opponent, especially if you hit them in the head. It seems to be that when you hit the opponent in the head where they don't have the armor, they're gonna die instantly. No matter what type of armor they have. I haven't tested this out against an enemy with full plate armor, so I have no clue how that would play out. But I don't see why these piercing arrows wouldn't do the thing that they are meant to do, that is pierce. I do believe only that piercing arrows are the ones that will do the most damage, that they don't have any special armor piercing property, but I might be wrong. Really, there is no clear explanation on this mechanic. Remember me saying that there is no magic formula that would help you? Well, actually there is. Go to the apothecary, buy two times Eyebright, one St. John's Wort. Go to the alchemy bench, press inventory, ready these two herbs that you just bought and use the displayed recipe. You don't need to know the recipe. Just prepare by yourself all the stuff by opening inventory and then choosing the necessary herbs. It's gonna buff your bow skill plus 5, I believe it lasts around 5 minutes. It's great when going hunting to 
improve your archery skill and it's great in general if you're fighting if you want to kill enemies with bows and arrows this is the way to go thank you all for watching i hope this video helped you and see you soon